Hello everybody and welcome to vimbu.com a smart way to learn anything you want to learn Today in the session we are going to learn how to create a search help in the SAP database dictionary So to create elementary search help you need to get into about dictionary so we'll enter SE11 in the transaction code select the radio button search help and uh, enter the name of your uh, uh, search help we'll choose zvimbu underscore elem as the name and then press create button this will take you to a pop-up which has two fields as you can see elementary search help and collective search help elementary search help is a help which is a single search help uh, with a single screen whereas in collective search help as suggested by the name is a collection of more than one search help so it will have more than one tab on the selection screen so for now we are creating elementary search help so we'll choose elementary and say yes enter the short description of your help and now come to the area which is the selection method now selection method is something which is uh, just uh, the name of the table from which you want the data to be displayed of the search help okay so it is not a method actually it is just the name of the table which will act as a method to get you the data so we will choose um, one of the table that we have let's call it as uh, ZLFA1 and then leave rest of the thing as it is then come down into the search help parameter and enter the first field you want and then give your values to LPOS, SPOS, import and export. I would like to talk a little bit about import, export, LPOS and SPOS because these are important things while, you, while you're creating uh, your search help. Your import and export decides if you have checked the import and export then you would get that field as the input input field on the uh, on the selection screen of your search help an export checkbox decides that you want this field in the output of the search help also so if i say import and export this field would be my um, search uh, 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 selection screens importing parameter and then the output would also have this field whereas lpos and spos are very important field while we are creating the search help because they decide that that in which sequence the field needs to be displayed in my search help. So let's say if I have said that SPOS1, what I mean is that when I show my selection screen of this uh, search help, I want Lifner to be the first field as a selection. And when I get the output, if I want the Lifner to be the first field in the output of my search help, then also uh, if I want it to be the first, so I'll say LPOS as one. So whatever sequence you want on the selection screen, you would uh, have that sequence of your field in SPOS and LPOS uh, would define the output uh, sequence. So now let's have three or uh, three fields uh, for our search help and we'll make um, all as uh, important export and we'll give the same sequence um, to LPOS and SPOS for all the fields. So we have three fields, so we'll say one, two and three in all three. The fields that we have taken is Lifner, Land1 and Name1. And then just don't do anything, just press save. Uh, we'll save it in local object. We don't want any uh, workbench request to be created, but for search we have a workbench request. Uh, so now I'm gonna activate it. If there would be any error, it would show me an error. I don't think there is any error. The errors generally that comes are that if the uh, field is not existing or the table doesn't exist, then th the system throws you an error. So now we are ready with our search help. Let's see how it looks. As you can see in your selection, as you can see on your screen, in selection screen, we have three fields, Lifner, Land1, Name1. And the sequence is the same that I have given in the SPOS, one, two, and three. And if I want to see the output, I would press on any of the field and this would give me the output and you can see uh, the output would again be in the same sequence. So you see the output as vendor as the first field, city as the second and name one as the third field. So our search help is ready to be used in any dictionary object that we have. Thank you.